हेलो सर हाँ कैन यू सी मी यस सर यस सर अच्छा बट इट लुक्स एज इफ वी आर लुकिंग समवेयर एल्स नॉट एट मी आई डोंट नो एक्चुअली सर हाँ एक्चुअली सर आई एम ऑन आई एम ऑन आईपैड दैट्स दैट्स व्हाई आई थिंक सो इट इट्स इन अ इट्स इन अ सर हॉरिजेंटल मैनर ओके ओके नो इश्यू नो इश्यू इट्स ऑल राइट नॉट टेल मी व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ब्रतती सर इन बंगाली द टर्म ब्रतती रेफर्स टू डिनोट द क्लाइंबर्स और क्रीपर्स ओ यस सर इंटरेस्टिंग सो ऑल ऑल थ्रू यू हैव बीन इन वेस्ट बंगाल यस सर Okay, tell me briefly where did you do your schooling and college and all that? Yes, sir. Sir, I have done my schooling from Jawahar Navodaya Vidyalaya, JNB uh-huh. Banipur, and thereafter I have done my uh, bachelor's in agricultural science from Vishwabharati University, Birbhum District, sir. Birbhum. Okay, yes. and then that's and all. And so then I have done my master's from Odisha University of Agriculture and Technology, Bhubaneswar. Oh, great! When did you do that? The last year only in in December I passed, sir. Okay, my yeah, master. You have not mentioned it here. Oh, you have mentioned first division. Yes, sir. I have mentioned. Yes, oh, sir. Mentioned. Very good. Hmm. Is this your first attempt? Sir, it is my second attempt, sir. Okay, okay, it's all right. Yes. First attempt. Did you get the call interview? No, no, sir. I I couldn't clear the prelims also. No, no, it's all right. That is yes, all that, that happens. Okay, now what's your option for this service, civil service? Yes, sir, agriculture. Ah, great. Oh, yes. so you are a veteran in agriculture. Tell me, what is the share of agriculture in GDP? Sir, exactly, I cannot no, recall no, the no. percentage. How much? Yes. Roughly, you should know. Yes, sir. sir uh, sorry, sir. I I need to I need to check it on, sir. Sir. When is your interview? Sir, not released till now. Oh, not in first. Not so. You may be. You will be in March somewhere. Second. I think, sir. Yeah, the first phase yes, is up to fifteen February, is it? Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. So you are not in that place. So you have that's good for you in a way. You get time to read. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I would definitely suggest you have mm. done agriculture and your option is agriculture. Mm. Read the Ministry of Agriculture's annual report, Government of India. Okay, it's sir. Complete document. Okay, sir. Not if you want to, you will get it even on the website. I mean, you don't have to prepare a copy. Hmm. Our economic survey. Economic mm. survey. There will be a chapter on agriculture. Mm. Because there can be very many questions on agriculture. Mm. And the basic things you should know about the share of agriculture in GDP. Mm. Then in labor force, what is the share of agriculture in labor force? Sorry, sir, I couldn't get your point. Labor force. What uh. is the share of agriculture? Sorry, sir, I I have to look yeah, look into this. You know. Hmm. It is much. Okay. It's almost about fifty percent, and their GDP contribution is hardly. Oh, okay, sir. Sorry, sir. Labor force. I I couldn't give yeah. you. Yes, labor sir. force. How many yes, people sir. are working are dependent yes, on agriculture? Yes, sir. Sir. So that way, and mm. uh, and also you should know something about FAO. You know. Yes, sir. FAO? Yes, sir. What is FAO? Sir, Food and Agricultural Organization. Ah, oh, very good. Yes, sir. And, uh, do you have any idea about WTO? Yes sir. Of subsidy, subsidy. Yes sir. Huh? Yes. So, what do you know about agriculture subsidy? The WTO views. Sir, as far as I recall, I think yeah. uh, World Trade Organization uh, has three boxes like amber box. Uh, then, sir, uh, something. Sir, and agricultural subsidy maybe. Sir, I I have to look look into this also, sir. Oh, you have read. Red also, red box, amber box. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then it is like a traffic light approach. Yes, sir. Eh? Green, green, green subsidy. box. Yes, a green box subsidy. Yes. Amber box and red yes, box. Sir. And our agriculture subsidy comes under mm-hmm. red box. Now, why mm-hmm. is it called red box? And what is our agriculture subsidy? Yes, sir. S- sir, I think there is some exemptions because. Uh, um like our government also uh, means negotiate was negotiating in the world platform uh, because uh, as most of our uh, laborers are from agricultural background and that's why there is there are some exem- exemptions as far as it is so i need to look into this sir you should read this because mm-hmm. you have to be very precise and clear okay sir 
the, the extent of subsidy cannot be more than 10 percent and it is much more that is why there's a problem and in this context you should know what is a peace class you know there's a concept called peace class yes peace sir class gives you time for the country to remodify the policy and fall in line with wto guidelines mm -hmm. anyway about agriculture read and eh? it's very important yes, okay what is the msp then yes, what yes, is sir. msp sir msp is the minimum support price that mm -hmm. government uh, gives to the farmer while procuring the farm farm product uh, <clears throat> directly from the farmers. It is a minimum support price. Yes, but yes. what is the role of minimum support price? Why do we need yes. that? In what way yes, can sir. help the agriculture? I mean, the mm -hmm. agriculture is... Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Sir, this is the uh, support price so that uh, farmer can uh, means this uh, farmer can uh, uh, can get some assurance before growing uh, that crop like uh, before the uh, before the season only uh, mm -hmm. the uh, see on the recommendation of CACP government announce announces and uh, once the product comes uh, came in to come into the market then mm -hmm. go government used to procure it from the farmer so that they can have some assurance. And uh, so that they need not to uh, get into any uh, means debt loop and all, all these things, sir. Now, in this context, are mm -hmm. you aware of MS Swaminathan's recommendation on MSP? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is sir, it? What did he recommend? Huh? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, sir uh, as far as I recall, sir, uh, MS Swaminathan uh, was in the favor of uh, means. Uh, uh, sir, uh, the in the formula that that government is uh, uh, show, uh, following now, I mm. think, sir. Uh, mm, uh, sir, I, 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 I mean, at this moment of time, I cannot recall that. I need to look into this. Okay, your interview is uh, only much later. So read up all this. Yes, sir. Ah, yes, sir. There, there will be a problem because these are uh, your agriculture graduate and the subject also. Ah, mm -hmm. So, read up the MSP formula given by MS Oman, which the government has followed. Mm -hmm. It's very important. So, what does your father do? I mean, your parents, are they working? Yes, sir. Both of them are working. Okay, what, do you, what does he do? I mean, I have not seen you at this Sir, yes. my father assists from doctor. I uh, want private doctor. doctor. No doctor. sir, uh, no sir. He he is the compounder of a private doctor. Okay, he assists okay. him. And okay, my fair. I'm and my mother is in government service. She is an upper division clerk at this moment uh, in the uh, agriculture okay. department only. Okay, okay, no problem. That was nice. Now, uh, let's talk about your hobbies. What have you mentioned? Let me see. Yes. Huh? What are your hobbies? Sir, a Bengali poem recitation. And. And sir, watching and exploring and uh, innovative videos in YouTube in my free time. And anything else? That's all. Okay, you said Bengali poems. You write yes, or you recite? Uh, what is that? You write, is it? No, sir. I used to recite. Oh, recite. Okay, mm. in two minutes, can you recite some one minute some Bengali uh, poem which you like? Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Huh. Sir, in Bengali only. Should yeah, I decide? And then tell me the meaning. I can follow. Okay. Okay, yeah. sir. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, uh, I would like to perform one poem written by huh. Rabindranath Tagore. Very the good. name of the poem is Bojha Pora. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, sir, and like. The meaning of that? Yes, sir. sir it's meaning that uh, understanding. And okay. here and in this poem, uh, the poet means Rabindranath Tagore is doing a self introspection. And he is trying to understand himself he is trying to making himself understand about the rational things that whatever comes in your way or in our way we should take mm. it as such mm. whether it is uh, it uh, means uh, what is the tr whatever the truth we are facing we have to accept that there is the meaning yeah. and sir yes yeah, uh, sir may i recite no nah, please yes sir sir like sir monere aaj kaho je bhalo mondo jahai ashuk shottere lao shohoje কেউ বা তোমার ভালোবাসে কেউ বাঁচতে পারে না যে কেউ বিকিয়ে আছে কেউ বা সিকি পয় সাধারে না যে 
কতকটা যে স্বভাব তাদের কতকটা বা তোমার ভাই কতকটা এ ভবের গতিক সবার তরে নহে সবাই তোমায় কতক ফাঁকি দেবে তুমিও কতক দেবে ফাঁকি তোমার ভোগে কতক পড়বে পরের ভোগে থাকবে বাকি মান্ধাতারি আমল থেকে চলে আসছে এমনি রকম তোমারই কি এমন ভাগ্য বাঁচিয়ে যাবে সকল যখন মনের তাই কহ যে ভালো মন্দ যাহাই আসুক সত্যের লও সহজে লিঙ্গরাজ মন্দির লিঙ্গরাজ টেম্পল and uh, and sir other some few areas like there was one uh, botanical park in the local areas uh, so i visited that and sir uh, i also visited the nandan kanan which was not directly in bhubaneswar but uh, i in the orisha only uh, so i visited this this place sir. nandan kanan tell me did you visit sun temple no sir no sir i actually didn't get that time the beach puri beach you didn't no 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 sir i i i means it was my in my planning but i couldn't get the time sir okay now this uh, nandan kanan ajay you did appear for indian forest service yes sir huh? did you appear or not yes sir yes sir i i i i, I appeared sir means i i i in the means i couldn't clear the forest uh, uh, cut off for the prelims but i appeared sir <laughs> no, that's all right. what i'm saying is you should think of that also that's a good service all india service and with agriculture you stand a very good chance okay now now about the current national and international affairs now international affairs are you comfortable sir to some extent okay what is happening in uh, ukraine for example at the moment yes sir Yes, sir i uh, said the war is currently ongoing and uh, means it 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 has not come into any conclusion the same situation is still there no you have any idea about india stand on that what is what the government stand uh, yes sir uh, yes sir sir india has always reiterated its position to uh, fall to to uh towards establishment of peace and reconciliation very good okay now coming to israel war yes sir what's happening and what is india stand yes sir sir in uh, sir in the in, in initial phases uh, mm. india was condemning the terror activities by mm. the non state actors mm. uh, but uh, and uh, 
uh, it has abstained from the even uh, even uh, even uh, vote, voting sir uh, in gradually sir uh, as far as i remember in the last stand india has uh, india has rated it its uh, uh, position its position for the establishment of peace sir uh, and uh, to uphold the human right human rights sir Hmm. Now, talking of India, there is Article Three Seventy. Yes, sir. You are aware of Article Three Seventy? Yes, sir. Are applicable to which state in the country? Yes. Sorry, sir. Which state? Ach, yes. Ha. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, uh, earlier, sir, it was uh, applicable for the uh, Jammu and Kashmir, hmm. but uh, recently, sir, hmm. Supreme Court also upheld the government stand. and uh, uh, justice sanjay kaul has uh, called for any called for a uh, reconciliation uh, committee to be set up uh, so so that the past incidents can be uh, looked after and the uh, human rights violations and all these things can be uh, looked after and any uh, fast conclusion can be drawn uh, for the same very good so now jammu and kashmir i mean will be like any other state in the country right no special privileges etc yes sir. yes sir so don't you think it's a good thing yes sir i i i also support the what the government and what what our honorable supreme court has uh, stated i i i have i i have full support on that sir so, is ladakh still a part of jammu and kashmir No sir, it is a separate Indian territory. Indian territory. Already separated uh, in twenty nineteen. Mm -hmm. Yes sir. Very good. Now, do you read any books etc. General books, literature or otherwise fiction etc. Yes sir, in my free time, uh, mm -hmm. I used to study uh, some fictional books of Bengali actually. from bengali but uh, in this preparation phase i don't get that much time sir actually that is all right that's all right yes sir so, no no have you heard of amartya sen yes sir what do you know about him yes sir sir uh, he is a nobel laureate uh, in the subject of economics hmm. uh, sir he is uh, like uh, like sir uh, i belong from the town named ashok nagar and oh, and sir ashok nagar is named after ashok kumar sen and who is eventually the uncle of amartya sen oh sir <laughs> yes sir and also sir uh, means omyo sen or uh, there who is also an associate of rabindranath tagore he oh. is also relative of amartya sen and and answer one more thing sir i would like to mention that like i was in vishwabharati uh, so in, in oh, you i vishwabharati yes sir i have done my graduation there So, sir, there were I have seen uh, uh, Amartya Sen's uh, actual on her own residence uh, okay. in the Bishwa Bharati, sir, which is also named as Pratichi. So there was some dispute about that. What happened? No, sir, in Bishwa Bharati. No, not about his house thing. Sorry, sir. About his residence, there was some issue. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some uh, means uh, uh, means regarding the land of the. Yeah. Uh, of of his house and with the authority of bishwa bharati some mm. misunderstanding uh, was uh, was there since uh, mm. sometimes ago sir that's true okay now tell me uh, in many states including west bengal yes sir right telangana kerala even tamil nadu there is uh, i mean there is some issue between chief minister and governor Yes, sir. What do you think can be done to minimize this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, this, uh, sir, these issues regarding the relationship of the governor and the government uh, hmm. is there. So there are multiple reasons. Uh, uh, reasons like, sir, uh, issues regarding the means uh, regarding the appointment of governor. because some because the incumbent government of my state uh, is saying that uh, it was not consulted beforehand before the appointment which is a mandate mentioned in the constitution 
so secondly there are issues regarding the university chancellor mm. uh, like uh, governor the appointment of yes sir yes sir and also sir uh, regarding the uh, regarding the sir uh, partition nature as 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 mentioned by some of the state government uh, and all this uh, and and sir uh, also sir uh, like um, uh, like sir in many cases where governor is uh, uh, it has been accused that uh, governor is not uh, passing the bill that uh, within the time that is referring to him for uh, uh, by the gov government uh, mm -hmm. but uh, under article 200 but uh, he is using his discretion uh, in in a, in a, uh, he is misusing his discretion this is also an allegation uh, stating by some government but i think sir this is uh, just an issue and can be solved uh, by debates and discuss, uh, by discussions and deliberations and for the same purpose as uh, india is a federal con federal federal country so i think sir for uh, for in the long term to have the peace uh, in the country whole uh, the center and state uh, must bring out some solutions like uh, like sir al already sir some commissions have stated like the sarkaria commission or punchi commission has stated that the state must be consulted beforehand before the appointment uh, in uh, and uh, and all these things all these things sir oh very good now um, innovative videos you are yes, sir. watching innovative videos how do you define innovative video Yes, sir. Sir, actually, like I have also mentioned, there are various uh, YouTube channels like, sir, uh, History TV 18, where uh, there is one show, popular show, OMG Emera India series. So, in that series, I, I usually... OMG? Oh, oh, my God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, oh my God. Yes, oh, my God. Emera India series. Sir, there are some, like some people have, uh, have utilized their creativity to bring out some solutions of the uh, of some of some very common problems sir sir may i give some examples that i have yeah yeah, yeah please yes sir, sir like sir uh, one people from west bengal only i i sh i i i have watched these videos like like iconia crisis which is which is also known as terror of bengal which is uh, yeah. which is a major problematic issue so one people has identified mm. its potential and mm. uh, he has converted the fiber uh, fiber from the plant itself, from the water hyacinth mm -hmm. plant, and mm -hmm. uh, and find a solution to mix the fiber with the cotton, and eventually okay. he was able to make one sari, and and now he also uh, he is running the business, and mm -hmm. also uh, as an entrepreneur he was uh, able to give job to uh, local rural women, and making and making the woman also self dependent. So, like this innovation is a remarkable innovation. So, mm -hmm. these type of videos I usually see, sir. Oh, yeah. Watch on the YouTube, sir. Mm -hmm. Brother, I find that your second option is Indian Police Service. Yes, sir. Ah, that's very interesting. What do you think will be the challenge for women to be police officers? Yes, Say, sir. a state like West Bengal, for example. Yes, sir. S sir, uh, there may be various challenges. Talking about few there can be a gender discrimination that uh, that is often seen sir secondly there may be issues uh, like a woman can face like sir uh, means sir uh, in the administration also if um, sir besides the gender discrimination in the personal life of the woman also she can face problems like dual burden um, mm -hmm. say yeah. management of family and okay. sir uh, life this can be one major challenging situation sir thirdly sir like women also undergoing uh, menstruation in every month. So that can be a problematic situation. But I think that for a woman police officer who is already, who will be undergoing rigorous training in the is, you know, Sardar Balla yeah. Patel. So it, it may good. not yeah. be a challenge. But, uh, can you name some eminent police officers who have done a great job? And even one of them had become governor also. The yes, sir. Kiran Bedi, sir. Kiran Bedi. Yes, sir. So there have been very many police officers. Yes, sir. You know, in all states, in Tamil Nadu and all that, who have done very well. Yes. So that way, it's a good thing. 
But are you aware of any police reform? Some committee, some reforms? Yes, sir. Uh, hmm. There are, sir, like uh, hmm. pra uh, sir, Prakash, Prakash Singh yes. judgment. Prakash Singh, that's very important. Prakash Singh judgment. Sir. Do you recall anything of his recommendation? Sir, I need to look into this, sir. Ah, Prakash Singh is very important. Yes, right? sir. And then any other report? Sir, like uh, recently, sir, criminal justice systems is being mm. uh, is is undergoing changing uh, changing. Already, the bill has been passed, yes. and the three laws uh, yeah. has been uh, is in the process of getting changed. Are you aware of these three laws? Can you initiate? Can you just say what they are? Yes, sir. One is Indian Penal Code Act, eighteen sixty. Mm. Sir, uh, second is sir, uh, sir that mm. sir Code of Criminal Procedure Act. Mm. And sir, uh, and one more act is there, sir. Um, that is, sir. I I, I have to means at this moment I cannot because I need to go. That's all right, but uh, do brush up before you go for the interview. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Something about all this as given in the newspaper. Hmm. Okay. Because at this stage, your source of information is only newspaper. Uh, yes, sir. Whatever you say, suppose they say what is the source, you say as per newspaper report. You know, yes. then nobody can question you because well, newspaper reports are going. That's very nice. Okay, now uh, thank you. I'm just going through. Uh, do you have any question to ask before I end up and uh, give you my views? So, so regarding the means, uh, so regarding my doubts or regarding the interview, sir? No, I want the interview as such. Any guidance? Acha, acha, yes, sir. So like, uh, sir, like, sir, uh, regarding the controversial issues, like, sir, same-sex marriage or adultery, sir, yeah. how should I respond if if they will be asking my opinion? You know what? Very correct. See, it's a very tricky question. I hope they don't ask. But if they ask, hmm. you once you take a stand, stick to it. That is general suggestion. The second is, give an honest opinion. Don't be influenced by what newspaper say or what your friend says. If you feel something is good or something is practical, then say it so. But if you feel something is really bad against our culture, against our thinking, against our system, for immediate and also for future generation, etc., etc., say so. But don't give a very long answer and don't get into argument. If member suppose says, oh, I don't agree, just keep quiet. And don't prolong the discussion. What I mean is, uh, beyond the point, they may not also put questions on a subject like this. But you should show your awareness of this subject. You know, because there's something inevitable that things which are happening. So at least you should be aware. You may not agree with what is happening. And also don't give your view unless specifically they ask for your opinion or your views. Okay, okay. And that will be my general guidance. But these issues beyond the point, I don't think they will, you know, question you or provoke you. But you should know what is happening, what the law says. And then tell me what do you understand by rule of law? Yes, sir. There is a concept, no? Rule of law. What is rule of law? Sir, means the maintenance of the law and order situation. and huh? Means following the guidelines of uh, legislative guidelines. No, no, that is ruled by law. No, rule of law is equality before law. Achha, achha. Yes. Nobody is above law and nobody is below. That is the hmm. idea. Hmm. That is the rule of law. Hmm. Do we have rule of law in our country? Yes, sir. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. So, and what is rule by law? Yes, sir. Rule by law can be like, in some countries you can have both rule of law and rule by law, like Pakistan. Yes. They have, they have law, but then they have Sharia also. Sharia mm. law. So which is very different. So, uh, brush up that. And also some basic statistics of West Bengal you should know. What is the population of West Bengal? Sir, uh, I think more, more than 11 lakhs, I think so. See, never use the word I think. Achha, achha. You say around and just approximately. Okay, okay, okay. But don't say I think because they don't want thinkers. They want people to act. <laughs> you follow in administration. 
So you say approximately so and so, so much. What is the, uh, you know, sex ratio, male, female? What is the ratio? Any idea? But, um, you, you brush up. Yes, sir. Yes. You were interviewed in the second half, no? You yes, sir. Last time. So, and what is the literacy rate of male, female, and then mm -hmm. so there's Bengal as a whole? Yes, sir. I, I, sir. You know, these things you, put, uh, I mean, you may be having handbook of West Bengal. Otherwise, there is a book called the India Yearbook. That's yes, the sir. Government of India publication by Minister of Information Broadcast. Every year they bring out. Mm -hmm. so each state, there's a write-up. Mm -hmm. They start with the population, literacy rate, sex ratio, etc., etc., and then place of importance, agriculture, industry, everything is discussed. Mm -hmm. So do have a look at the agriculture section also in that. Can you give me some pointers that I need to collect data, like data regarding agriculture of my state or of India? Means how? No, uh, that, you know, that's what I'm telling you now. For agriculture, yes. the Ministry of Agriculture, Government of India comes out with a fairly voluminous. Uh, book every year. Mm -hmm. That is a public down. If you can't do that, get hold of economic survey, Ministry mm -hmm. of Finance. Just before the budget, they present economic survey. You know that. So mm -hmm. last year, you can get hold of. It will be in the library anywhere. So there is a chapter on agriculture running into about 20 pages, mm -hmm. wherein all these things will be given with some yes. basic statistics. For yes, example, sir. what is the total food grain production? You should know. Yes, sir. The total aggregate, I mean, wheat, how much of rice, how much of sugar, how much of sugar we are exporting. Eh? So, all this basic thing and the jute is important because West Bengal. Yes, West Bengal. Yes, sir. All the important things, you go through economic survey, you will find mm. this. Okay, sir. And then the policy of MSP, mm. you know, administered pricing, and a bit about WTO, you should know. The three boxes, eh? not mm. by great length, but at least what they are mm -hmm. calculating. So, uh, and about your own West Bengal agriculture, you should know. And if any subsidy is given by state government also, you should know any policy to subsidize. And uh, and then na natural disaster also, you should know about the state, All India National Disaster Commission uh, mission is there. Then the state disaster mission is there. So, all those bit you should know because you are a coastal uh, thing, district. I mean, uh, state, you should know every now and then you get cyclone and other. So prepare on these lines and then your subject on agriculture is very important because you are agriculture graduate plus optional is also agriculture. So prepare thoroughly and read current affairs. Read, uh, which paper are you reading? Newspaper? Sir, I, only Hindu, sir. The no, Hindu. don't. Hindu, you may or may not read, but you must read Indian Express and one economic daily. Economic daily means business standard or mint. Do you get business standard in Calcutta? I think it must sir, be I, give, I, I got the sir, yeah, soft copy, sir. Okay, that's all right. Go to yes, sir, yes, sir. Because the economic issues, you should know. Hmm. RBI comes out with some statement every and now and then, and then the World Bank, IMF, and GDP growth. Mm -hmm. Foreign exchange position and then monetary policy. You should know what is the RBI monetary policy. What do you understand by monetary policy? See, all those you should know. Huh? Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. read all those. And whenever you read these economic issues, you should write it down on a paper. For example, GDP growth, merely reading, you may not remember. Write it down 7.2 or whatever. You mm -hmm. follow. And about population and about literacy rate, etc. Read twice and write it down. Then only it will register. So these economic issues, although you should know, apart from political and economic mm -hmm. issues, national, international issues. So prepare on those lines and take more mocks at the gap of 10 days. Don't take every day. That is not advisable. And current affairs will be more important. And then your own subject agriculture. So read that. And then one more thing, you being a lady, uh, on a personal level, what will you be wearing? You will be wearing a sari, I suppose. I don't know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, make sure that the color and all is very mm. sober, presentable, not flashy and all that. Uh. Yes, sir. Sir, in, like, sir, uh, uh, sir, anything you want to suggest me regarding my interview? Because I, I, what I, I am assessing that 
regarding the data and facts, I cannot recall at this moment of time. No, no. Today it's all that. This is only a trial. But do read up. Mm -hmm. you know, for everything, if you say, for example, if you, if you say you don't know West Bengal total population. No, no, yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. at least that you should know. Literacy rate. At least only uh, state bank, I mean, state level, you should know. You may not know literacy for male, female separately, even mm -hmm. though they are women. And similarly, sex ratio, broadly, you should know. Yes, sir. Yes, the sir. male, female population, I mean, what is the ratio for 1,000 male, how many females? Mm -hmm. Because it is becoming a big issue in some states, like Haryana and all. So that way, they may know. Uh, and then the issue with the uh, educational field also. Well, so much under. Hello. So in all this, whatever is there available in the public domain, that is newspaper mm. report, say that. Mm. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. There is something wrong with my internet connection. Yes, sir. Okay, then.